Guys and dolls, self-love September is here. <laughs> Let the festivities begin. The whole month of September is going to be a self-love extravaganza. Um, here on my channel, over on my blog, where I am on social media, I'm just going to be completely focusing on self-love and we're going to get down and dirty with the deeper layers of this subject. We're not just going to be scratching the surface, we're going to be going all the way. We're going to be looking at the nuances and the complexities of this very important thing in all of our lives, the ability to love ourselves, to respect and honour ourselves, to accept ourselves as we are and to be our own allies, friends, supporters, cheerleaders in this life. And I want to start by giving you guys some tips, techniques, tools, suggestions, etc. to help you to follow along with the stuff that I'm going to be putting out on YouTube and the stuff that I'm going to be putting out on the blog. I do have a lot of videos coming spanning a lot of different kinds of, of subjects underneath the banner of self-love. I did put out the call during the month of August um, to my peeps on Facebook asking them what is it that you want to see, um, what really interests you about the subject of self-love, where are you having issues with self-love in your own lives and I really took those suggestions into consideration when I was making the self-love content. I also thought a lot about what it is that I want to present and what I think it's really pertinent to talk about with regard to self-love and what I love to teach with regard to this subject. So all in all, I think it's going to be a really nice collection, a really tasty little mishmash of different things. And halfway through the month, I am going to be doing a live stream on Google Hangouts so that we can have some interaction, some questions and answers and that kind of stuff. So we're going to be having a real kind of self-love loving as it were the whole month of September is just going to be cooking with juicy self-love content and I wanted to get started by offering some tips and techniques and tools that I can kind of posit to you as a way to help you to process the content that I'm going to be putting out on YouTube and over on my blog to help you to get the most out of self-love September and to really make the commitment to it. The first thing that I want to suggest is that you write a declaration of your commitment to Self Love September. So if you've been waiting for this content to come out and you were already aware that you were going to definitely be focusing on self love during the month of September, or alternatively if you've just stumbled across this video and you're thinking, okay, well I might give this a whirl. In either way, I think it's good to write a declaration of your commitment to the month. And you can make this as ostentatious and overblown and wordy as you want, or you can make this very simple, um, very minimalistic, just one or two sentences sentences to kind of clarify and confirm that you are focused and committed to September as a month of self-love for you and that is basically as a month to check in with where you might be struggling with self-love and to give serious thought to how you can implement tools and techniques to cultivate more self-love. I would recommend definitely writing your declaration of commitment or typing it up rather than simply just thinking it in your mind. Um, I think it's okay to know in your head that you're committed to self-love September just as the same way it's okay to confirm in your mind that you're committed to anything in life. But I think it's really useful um, during a set time period when you're focused and committed to something to be able to look at your intention in written words, to remind yourself of it, to check in with it, you know, really just to turn the dial, adjust the dial. So whenever you do start to feel like you're going off track you can kind of check back at your declaration of commitment or your statement of intention whatever you want to call it your little written statement that says I'm going to commit to self-love September and I would also recommend in your declaration including why why are you committing to self-love September what is the reasoning behind your willingness to commit to this month and learn as many tools and techniques as you can to cultivate more self-love this brings me neatly on to my next point, which, which is that I think it's important to consider what it is that you want to get out of Self Love September. And that kind of requires checking in with where your biggest issues and obstacles are with self love right now. Um, and just kind of have a think about which things immediately come to mind for you when you think about struggles you're having with self-love or areas where you might have some uncertainties with regard to self-love and what it really means and how you can really cultivate it and see it in a tangible way in your life. So just give some thought to why self-love September is important for you, why you've decided to make that commitment in terms of, of what it is that you actually want to gain from the month. You know, quite often when I take clients on for weeks of intention or months of intention where we do that long-term work together, one of the questions that I ask them is what do you want to get out of this work, you know? And that's really about getting clear on what it is that you want to receive out of this investment that you're putting in. What kind of return do you want on this investment? What are you hoping for? And crystallising what it is that you want to get out of the self-love September out of this month is definitely, I think, partly about making sure that you've got a compass 
so that you understand what it is that you're trying to get at. I think it can be really easy to drown in an over amount of like self-help advice and self-development workshops and you know I've read several articles that have kind of um, approach the idea that people do get slightly addicted to self-help content and to self-development culture but they're not all of the time putting the tools into practice and sometimes they're not even thinking about what it is that they're trying to achieve what it is that they are trying to obtain it just gets a little bit addictive it gets a little bit of a self-comforting thing and sometimes when we're kind of absorbing all of this self-information gunk it's not going in we're not doing anything with it so I think one of the key things about crystallizing your intentions for self-love September and working out where it is that you're trying to get to is to keep that pure intention there to make sure that you're not just sitting there and kind of like vegetating in front of the information and thinking that you get some kind of vague sense of hope from it but then you're not putting it into action kind of thing so crystallizing it is about getting clear that this is an action oriented month this is about being proactive and this is about really bringing your whole sense of self to the table and committing to this fully one of the things I mentioned in my kind of let's get started video last year for Self Love September 2014 was to consider using a self love totem of some kind, something that you can carry around with you or wear on your person during the month of September to remind you that self love September is what's going on and that that is where your commitment and your focus is for the month. You can use a crystal, you can use a piece of jewelry, you can use anything like that, maybe a little affirmation that you put in your wallet or your purse, something like that. You can think about what works for you. I would recommend using the hashtag self love September if you are on social media, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, you know, let people know how the month of self love September is going for you and check in with what other people are doing and saying and the experiences that they're having and the things that they're exploring because that kind of brings that more conversational aspect to it and it makes you feel like you're not alone and it makes you feel like, you know, other people are involved in this too and it becomes, it gains more momentum as a movement that way so we can all check in with each other and talk to each other and I will be checking the hashtag self love September every damn day in the month of September and replying to as many people and having as many kick-ass conversations as possible about the topic of self-love so that's going to be one of the highlights for me this year I think is that more people are on board with it more people are raring to go with it and I'm a little bit more savvy with social media this year than I was last year as well so let's make hashtag self-love September a thing I would definitely recommend using your journal to write about your experiences with self-love September make note of anything particularly useful that you've taken from any of the videos blog posts or anything else that's going on, including the dialogue you may be having with other people using the hashtag, all that kind of thing. Revelations that come to you in the moment, difficulties that you're having, resistance that you're feeling. You know, really just use a journal to check in with how the experience is going for you. Or alternatively, use a separate notebook. Get a new notebook that is just for Self Love September. And maybe you can use that notebook to go on in that vein and explore more about what's going on with your self love experience after the month of September. So maybe it can really start a good self love specific journaling habit for you. Let Self Love September be a time when you branch out in your understanding of self-love as a concept, in the research that you're doing with regard to it, what you're reading about it. This should be a time, I think, to study and to collaborate and to be vocal about your experiences and to engage in dialogue, you know, in your real life, in your personal life with people around you. Um, don't just rely purely on the content that I'm putting out because I know I have a very particular flavour. It's not going to vibe with everybody and there are so many tips and tricks and tools and techniques and theories and methods out there about self-love for you all to take from so I would really recommend making this into a month where you're not only checking in with what I'm doing here and over on the blog but also allowing yourself to branch out you know google things um, find out what other people are saying about self-love really start to make this into a month where you absorb as much information about the topic of self-love as you can possibly stand and really start to put as many techniques into your toolkit as you possibly can have a look at the way different people relate to things like self-love and self-care and really start to become more um, aware of when you may need to have discussions about things like self-love and self-acceptance and personal power in your personal life with people you know shine that light and actually start to be more vocal and start to be more aware of when self-love may be lacking and when conversations like this may need to take place I would definitely recommend doing weekly check-ins um, at the end of every week during the month of, of September to kind of just check in with the way things are going for you and think about what it is that you've learned and what it is that you've experienced and what it is that you are exploring during the weekly check you can also think about what it is that you want to follow through with or check up on or kind of go back to or learn the following week. 
So that'll be something that's really good. And remember, halfway through Self Love September, I think it's going to be on the 13th in alignment with the new moon, but definitely um, keep an eye out and keep an ear out for the information. I'm gonna put it here on YouTube, I'm gonna put it over on Facebook, I'm gonna let you all know when it's gonna be, but there is gonna be a live Google Hangout so that we can all have a discussion, so you can pencil that in as well as part of your Self Love September experience if you're up for it and if the timing is right for you, but if not, you can always come and watch it on my channel later on. Check-ins are a chance for you to just check in with your progress and consider what you've learned and just make sure that you keep yourself accountable. When you have those weekly check-ins, you know your intention and your commitment is renewed and you get to go into the next week with that feeling of, of you know, kind of um, wanting to go ahead and learn more. And please make sure that you check the fourqueens.com for blog posts that I'm creating. I will let you know when uh, there are certain blog posts that are going to be written in alignment with certain videos that are coming up, but some of them are going to be more spontaneous. I'm going to be putting stuff out um, as much as I feel called to throughout the month, so make sure you check over to thefourqueens.com for um, other goodies that you can read from me rather than watching from me. And until next time, um, really enjoy Self Love September. So much love and self-love. Blessed be.